Happy Super Soulful Sunday to all of my subscribers, friends, and followers. This is Miss C. Temptation coming at you again with another commentary of Chicago Talk. Um, I wanted to say to everybody, namaste and peace be on to you and everybody that's watching this video. Now, happy Soulful Sunday. Um, today's video, I wanted to do an update and wanted to give you a preview about R. Kelly. Now, from what I read online, allegedly, it's been reported that R. Kelly, you know, because back in January, though on Lifetime, they uh, did a, a documentary about R. Kelly, and the name of that was called Surviving R. Kelly. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I got a hot update for you. They're coming out, um, this coming up Saturday on May 4th, they're coming up with a part two of Surviving R. Kelly called The Impact. And the person that's going to be hosting the uh, the part two of the documentary, he goes by the name of Soledad O'Brien. He's supposed to be allegedly a famous journalist. So they're going to be like, you know, reflecting more about the allegations about the uh, 10 counts of sexual assault um, against him uh, with four victims. And I guess they're going to give an update on how Sony had dropped them from the label and, you know, the allegations that's taking place now. And uh, also, I wanted to report it yesterday that it was allegedly reported that the lawyers are going to try to say, they're going to use saying, uh, stating that the reason why, though, that he was um, experienced these uh, charges, uh, what's going on with him because he can't read and he was quoted to allegedly have, quote unquote, a learning disability. But this is how I look at it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you know, I mean, everybody has some form of a disability. That's true enough. You know, but damn, is the judge going to fall for that? I think not. I, I I don't see it, you know, because, yeah, it was uh, reported on the first part of the documentary that he didn't know how to read and he didn't know how to write. But I look at it like this. I blame his mother for that, though, because she should have want uh, she should have went out of her way to get make sure that he had the proper help that he needed to learn so that way he could be able to learn how to read or hire a tutor, you know, to teach him how to, you know, the fundamentals of reading and learning how to write. And I really feel that if he would have known those basic skills as far as learning to read and write, then he wouldn't have made any of the mistakes that he did throughout his life, you know, as far as making bad business decisions and, you know, don't know what's going on, can't even keep up with his bank account, can't even, you know, read um, his statements. I mean, and that's, that's, I find that kind of real sad though, but, you know, but like I said, hey, you know, the the bottom line is with his family, you know, his whole entire family basically is dysfunctional. I mean, it's really sad. And all of that kicked off, you know, as far as I blame his sister, though, because she's the one that brought all that behavior out, you know, to, you know, out of him in the first place. I mean, because I did cover the story a while back with Tasha K, um, had interviewed his brother and he did reportedly and, and admitted allegedly that he did abuse not only Carrie Kelly, but also R. Kelly as well. So after that, you know, they, the trend had continued after that. So he's already caught up, but just wanted to make that announcement, you know, saying that he's that, uh, be looking out on that part two of the documentary though, uh, surviving R. Kelly, the impact. And, um, I just don't know anymore. Cause I mean, I don't have any updates, you know, cause in terms about the trial yet, you know, but I think it's because of his lawyer, you know, going through those legal issues though about, um, trying to um, get money out of Nike and we're talking about some millions of dollars here. So I don't know what's going to happen. And, um, uh, I mean, if you really look at it, ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is that whole entire story is really a sad situation. It's really, really sad, man. I mean, and to the message to the parents, I mean, you have to really, really watch these kids nowadays because, and especially with these girls, because you never know who they may get mixed up in, and you don't know what type of history that these these dudes may have. You know, you have to really watch these kids. So I mean, because I mean, this is real. I mean, this stuff is not a joke. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, please leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think about this story with R. Kelly and this uh, part two of this documentary coming out on May four. And the main thing I want to I want to ask from all of you is to share 
and subscribe. And I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so very much. Welcome to Chicago Talk. And I hope you find these videos to be quite enlightening. You know, because like I'm in like I indicated before, and I'm gonna say this again. The reason why I started this channel two years ago is to bring some sort of level of awareness to the people because, especially to the young people, because some of these young people, I mean, they make these horrible decisions in life, you know, and the way things are nowadays, I mean, you have to really be, you know, you have to really, really think, you know, and do whatever it takes though, to, to make the best decision for yourself, make the best decision for your children, make the best decision for your family. I mean, because... You know, let's let's be real though. I mean, things is really horrible out here and contrary to what people believe, though things are not really looking good out here. So, you have to really make the best decision that you possibly can for yourself. You know, and it's all about awareness. It's all about, you know, educating people because we need to be hip on what's going on, especially with this R. Kelly situation. And my personal opinion, I blame the parents because if the parents were had of some sort of understanding in terms of what he was capable of doing and what his motive was, you know, I really feel though that those kids wouldn't have got mixed up with him in the first place. But that's just me. That's just how I feel about it. So, again, guys, leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think. If you have any further suggestions or future topics that you want me to talk about on the future upcoming videos, drop me an email at charris7102 at gmail.com or, as well, leave a comment on the bottom here and let me know what you feel or what you think. Um, like I said, if any, any comments or any suggestions, let me know and then, Hey, I'll, I'll definitely will address it. I will talk about it in future upcoming videos. So guys, happy Sunday again. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but I wanted to drop that news on you about R. Kelly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. So guys, as always, until the next video, I'm going to drop the mic. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Uh, stay peaceful. Keep the pre uh, creator in your life, though, because like I said, the way things are going on, baby, we need the creator more than anything right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn, uh, cut this loose. I'm going to say that I really love you guys. One love. And until the next video, see you later.